this beautiful hump day already. What are you doing? <laughs> Being a cameraman, TQ hitting all the angles. I was just out here checking out the spray foam, making sure it was holding up good and it's holding up good. So we need to go to work. Ready yeah, to go? we do it real fast though, guys. Just going from the garage to here, no joke, probably a 20 degree oh, yeah. difference. It's definitely, it's a lot cooler. I'm, just gonna, but that, it, it. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to work, guys.
right, guys. So this lawn has been just burned out for at least a month, I'd say. Finally getting some green back in it. Has a decent stripe. We just don't have a real good sunlight for it. I don't know if TQ's turned out or not up front, but it's there, trust me. Looks really good. this one back into shape even though it wasn't out of shape but we finally got some growth on it it looks beautiful talk to the customer she's very pleased so you ready to go yeah I'm gonna talk to you guys in the truck once we leave the customers property let's go all right guys so now we're off the uh, customers property I wanted to talk about something so yesterday I put a post up on Facebook I shared a video of me training Sean Boy how to shoot his Nerf, okay? And if you don't know, the way the world has become, you now have to say Nerf for things that, you know, you normally pull the trigger and things come out the other end. Uh, or they'll completely, like, wipe you out. I'm not kidding. Like, the, the people in charge of a lot of these platforms and stuff, they don't like it. And what they don't like, you don't get to say. You know, it's kind of like, you know, we used to have freedom of speech and you could say what you want as long as, you know, you really weren't hurting anybody, you know, and this or that. So anyways, <laughs> so I put this video up of training Sean Boy how to shoot his Nerf. And simply they took it down and said it was, uh, you know, it didn't meet community guidelines, yada, 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 whatever. I was literally training my son how to properly handle use the safety and to fire his nerf okay a really good video i've been trained myself by multiple people how to use these okay uh, i don't have any military background i don't have any police background none of that but i have had training with these things to teach my son how to use them properly as well which i think all children and this is just my personal belief but you know you do with your kids is what you want and that's your business not mine but I personally believe that all kids should be taught how to handle these and to safely uh, be around them because you hear all the time of kids being hurt, uh, you know, because they happen to come upon something like that and, you know, they just, they don't know. You know, it's cool, they see it on TV, yada, yada, yada. And I, I almost think like in school, it should be like a requirement course, you know, even if it's just like a one day, like, hey, if you see something, back off of it, don't touch it. But what kind of uh, threw this in and it just kind of sparked me just a little bit here is what happened with Sean, the video with Sean Boy yesterday. They pulled it down. They wouldn't even allow me to share it. And therefore, today I'm listening to the radio and the gentleman and his host are talking. And what they were talking about is how they were trying to demonize this uh, mall shooting over in Indiana and like criminalize the guy that literally saved people's lives. And it's just 
I don't know where people are going here. I think it's a very small percentage of people uh, that try to control and say, you know, like all these people out here, like, you know, this, that, whatever. But their, their platform that they were using is he should have never had it in the mall. The mall clearly states he's not allowed to carry his concealed carry inside the mall. Well, for one, if you do do that, nobody ever knows you do that unless something like that happens and if it was me my family or anybody i would know you should be sitting there like thank goodness this person had it and thank goodness they saved all of these people's lives and who really gives a crap if he should have had it in there or not because we would have never known if he didn't save lives yeah enough with my rant we gotta get back to work you ready tq i'm ready let's go <laughs> we need to get some supplies for steve as well uh, to continue getting some work done on his free time down at the storage facility. I wanted to show you this because it's pretty cool and hey, it might save some of you time because we didn't need to know about it. So we came to get an outside metal uh, UV, I guess, resistant safety paint. Okay, we wanted yellow to repaint the poles yellow and the lady's like, hey, it's actually right over here on the shelf. So right here, we kind of got lucky because they have it in this dark yellow which I don't really want dark yellow, but they actually have it in safety yellow. So they had one can left there, if you catch it there. And she said, this paint is actually really hard to get right now, so we're kind of getting lucky. She said, Rust Williams is having supply issues like a lot of people. So yeah, high performance protective enamel, rust, preventative finish, wheel-based safety. I'm about to blow your guys' mind. So I gotta find TQ real quick before I make the final decision. But anyway, she went to go get staples so that we could nail the chicken wire to the wood here. So just right here, guys. So what we were planning on building is a four by four foot uh, chicken run slash little coop uh, for the chicks right now so that we can start putting them out into the lawn, kind of getting them uh, acclimated to that. Well, with that being said, each one of these boards right here is 20 bucks. So I think we had 10 of them. So there's $200 right here just for wood. Okay. All right. So little predicament here. Each one of these is 20 bucks a piece. Okay. So right here, I think we have 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. So that's $200 in just wood. Okay. How much were those staples? Four dollars a box so that's another eight bucks uh we haven't even bought the chicken wire yet and the four by four uh was pretty pricey itself hence why i didn't carry it back up here because when i was walking back there i saw kennels like we have already uh in a little different design or we can just go buy another one of those kennels because what we have here in this little bit of wood not even including our time that it's going to take us to build this thing which will probably take us at least an hour to two hours uh the metal that's right back there that we know we can put together in five minutes is cheaper than this let's do it <laughs> i'm not kidding work smarter not harder right so <laughs> what i'm thinking is we get one of those another one of those uh we might have to go to tractor supply because i didn't see any on the shelf but i'll show you what they got back here real quick but i'm thinking we just take the smaller chicken wire then and wrap it just to enclose it so we don't have to worry about them getting out right okay all right let's check it out so we ended up finding them on this end cap, but yeah, check this out. Okay, so there's two different sizes here. There's a six foot high. They're both six foot high, four foot wide, eight foot long versus four foot long. So the one that's up here is four foot by four foot, okay? And it comes with the tarp top, so we wouldn't have to worry about anything really coming in from the top or rain on them, really. And that one, four by four, is 224.69. And the eight footer, which was, this is gonna be the size that we were gonna build, is right there, two, 249, okay? And we get a roof with it, and we don't have to build it, really. I mean, we already know how to put these together. It literally clamps on the corners, and uh, you get a doorway with it. We don't gotta build a door. We don't gotta buy hinges, which we never even got to getting the hinges, the staples, any of that. And I see the chicken wire right over there, and bottom yeah. thing, So literally guys with where we were at just for the wood being a couple hundred bucks staples chicken wire uh you know not even getting really into the hinges the four by four to strengthen the corners 
um, yeah, we would easily been probably 300 bucks or close to it. And we can get that for 250. This world is insane at the moment. Like how is wood that much more expensive than something that they had to make metal wise, weld, hinges, everything. In saying in the membrane. I'm thinking we just go to TSC and get the same thing we have. Oh, all right, guys. So we decided we're going to get the same one from down at Tractor Supply, just simply so they look uniform in the lawn. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Hey! Boom. Got, it. got our paint though. We got yep. we got some chips for the uh, bedding. A couple other little things got it already in the back but uh what i wanted to share with you we decided to go with this one because we were already uh talking about making the chicken run that we have right now uh bigger just to give them more space so with this one we'll be able to once the baby chicks are big enough we can put them together with the other chicks or the other chickens because right now they're too small they'll beat them up and take them out uh so when they get big enough and they can defend themselves we'll just put them together and they'll have a bit even bigger chicken run so so we're gonna give you guys a quick demonstration. We already moved it once, but how we adjust our chicken coop pen so that they get a lot of healthier, greener grass. So it's fastened to each corner of the house, but it allows us to hinge it just by lifting it, pivoting it to a new spot. So they'll take care of this and it'll take them probably what, four days to make that look like that? Yeah, and if you check this area out, it's already starting to grow back in from whenever we moved it before. Yep, so, so this is about last week. You can see the green over here. You can see completely brown and they just fertilize 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 but they love their green grass So don't mind the way we look it is scorching out here guys so only takes a few minutes to put the actual kennel together but then we came in with this chicken wire and tq went around the whole bottom simply the chicks are still small enough they can fit through the chain link holes here you know so we don't want them to be able to do that and we don't want something you know a neighbor's cat or anything to be able to just to grab them real quick through that either uh, so we want to protect them. They're getting pretty good size. So we, they might not even be able to get through the uh, doll kennel uh, holes as of right now. But if you saw me trimming a piece here, <laughs> TQ right off the rip dropped a uh, bolt. And we couldn't find it. We both saw where it landed, but we couldn't find it. Sorry. It's okay, TQ. It's okay. Be careful. I have this knife just left open here. Okay. Just make sure you close it. So here's the top. Real quick, guys. 
I was raised that you don't close somebody else's knife. Is that uh, just my thing, the way my dad taught me, or is it the same elsewhere? You never close somebody else's knife. All right. I so learned from you. <laughs> you learned from me. My dad taught me that. So anyways, we got the rooftop for them as well. We want to stop any kind of uh, predators from flying in from the top. Uh, hopefully in grabbing them, we might have to do a little modification as well along the top piece up front with some chicken wire, but we'll cross that road when we get there. So you ready to get to it, TQ? Let's do it. guys gopro went dead i'm not sure when though but we got the tarp put on the roof now we're just getting a different size socket because the bolt size are, sizes are different and then we're gonna get it attached Our apologies guys, all of our equipment started overheating just being out in the sun while we were doing this. We tried to switch to our phones which currently you're watching this on and it overheated as well. That's why the video is kind of choppy. We kept trying. My job is done, y'all have fun. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna take all the chicks and let them pick at the grass here, free range. They will not stay in here. They are still a little young. They will not stay in here. We're just gonna give them some room to roam for a little while. All right, got the kids here. They're gonna help me. There you go. There's the first one. All right, so the kids couldn't really get them. I'm gonna try to hop in here and help out. So if you wanna try to scare them towards me, Guys, enjoy. <laughs> we have the chicken run all done. Like I said, we're not going to keep them in there all night long because we don't want predators to swoop in that way because they don't have a cover to go into. So what I did temporarily is gotta be careful. Just separated the coop in here. So half of it is gonna be the chicks, and the other half is gonna be the big chickens and they have the access to the door on the other side of the wood that's very easy to take down so if we want to just I got the little cage here kind of get them all in there carry them over to the run let them do their thing um, and then just do that for a little while but yeah we got that all done I think they like it out here don't ya we got the little rooster so, we hope you enjoyed this video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.